I like a savior that really got the job done and dealt with my sins. If any man sins, we've got to remember, we've got an advocate. Don't worry about what you've done or haven't done. You've got to look to the Savior. You've got an advocate. We, we, without him, we're in all sorts of trouble with the living God, but we, we have got to the best of lawyers. He never lost a case. He never failed. Jesus Christ, the righteous. No, it's not a matter of what we have done. You couldn't go over there and join with those in the jungles of Africa and offer pigs and chicken for your sin. It wouldn't do you a bit of good. You could go down on the uh, Andes Mountains and offer young virgins for your sin. That wouldn't do any good. You could uh, offer rivers of oil and thousands of beasts, and that wouldn't do any good, Micah says. You could go and win a thousand souls for Christ, and that wouldn't do you any good to find favor with God, to find a reprieve from God. He, he, there is nothing, nothing, and so we got to come to Christ. Nothing in my hand I bring. Nothing, nor there's no hope of me ever standing before the living God on that great day, uh, apart from what you are and what you have done. Christ in Him crucified. That's the glorious gospel. It's not a thing, uh, it's not a matter of who did what. It's a matter of a person. And so we are putting our trust in Jesus Christ that person and what he did on the cross. Jesus Christ, the righteous. And uh, that's our confidence that we have got, yeah, we've got a real good lawyer. We have Jesus Christ, the righteous, who knew no sin, he did no sin, he had no sin. In him there was no sin. He walked a perfect life. He died a perfect death. He rose again with mighty power. Jesus said, uh, it's finished, and God says, it's well done, and he raised him from the grave. Seated him at his right hand, and with all authority and put everything in his hand. He's the man from Jesus from Nazareth. He's been given authority over all flesh to give eternal life to as many as the Father has given him. And I'm saying, Lord Jesus, I trust, I believe. I do believe that you died for me. You really did propitiate and remove the wrath of God. And bold shall I stand in that great day because of what Jesus did. Greater love has no man than this. But a man laid down his life for his friend. And so that is the greatest manifestation of the love of God toward you as a believer. Love so amazing, so divine, demands my life, my soul, my all. You know, that Jesus would personally die for me personally. C.T. Studd says, if, God, if Christ be God and died for me, there is no sacrifice too great for me to make for him. You got to flee from the wrath to come and say, Lord Jesus, I believe. I believe you died for sinners. I believe you died for sinners just like me. I'm headed for hell. No reason you should take me to heaven. But I'm trusting that you died and really did pay that sin debt. That's the gospel. The good news is that although I am a sinner deserving of hell, I right now can stand perfect. They have favor in the sight of God. That's the good news. Because of what Jesus did. Glory to God and glory to the Lamb forever. To Him be glory, power, honor, dominion forever and ever because of what He did.